Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the second half of 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. So today we're going to be taking a look at the next six months for 2022. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as providing you with the meaning of the tarot card. I do have a recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on, especially because we're looking at the next six months, which is quite a bit of time. Also, if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos, typically post a couple Aries videos a month. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so what's happened the last six months, first half of the year. We're going to do a general look at what's going to happen through the end of the year. We're going to do a money column, a love column, and then the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the year, a healing note. We are going to do a message from your loved one who has passed away, and we're going to do a letting go card for you. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. The first card that we have is fortitude. So I think a lot of you could have experienced some roadblocks so far this year. Um, things just haven't been as easy. Um, these are blocks. These are things that haven't necessarily held us back, but have made things more challenging, Aries. But let's see what messages we have coming through here. The first card that we have is the moon card. The moon card is a card of sometimes unseen challenges. So again, these could be more of that fortitude type energy, those blocks that we've found. It's just things being more challenging than needed. Those kind of curves, curve balls that we just didn't see coming. Um, this can also be voluntary changes though. So lots of good shifts have happened for you, even though things haven't been as easy as we would have hoped, Aries. And this is also a card of trusting your intuition. So I feel like to this point, you've done a good job following your gut, trusting your gut, listening to your intuition. The next card that we have is the four, or excuse me, the three of swords. The three of swords is a card of heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. It can also be illness or surgery. Um, I do get the feeling that some of you have gone through a pretty significant loss this year or separation or divorce. Um, there's some low feelings that do feel connected to another person. Again, a loss of somebody. This could be a loss of a pet too, or an ending of a relationship. And this could be friendship, family, um, lover. Uh, but the nice thing about the Three of Swords is this does indicate the healing that's happened as well. So of course there is heartbreak that comes with this card, but this is also saying that you have pulled the sword from your heart, Aries, and begin to do that healing on your own, which is really wonderful to see. Then at the bottom we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness, so I'm sure lots of new things have happened for you so far this year. But this is typically a new baby relationship proposal or marriage. So some of you could have found out that you were pregnant or expecting. There could have been a new relationship. You could have gotten engaged, got married. But let's go ahead and clarify this column and see what other messages I can give you. Again, this is kind of a reflection of what's happened so far this year. The first clarifying, or excuse me, yep, the first clarifying card we have is the chariot. Um, the chariot somebody once described to me as the vroom vroom card, and it means things are moving. There's action, there's change. It's about being on a journey. Um, and you have been on a journey. Like I said, with the moon card, those are kind of those curveballs that we didn't expect, but when you're in the chariot, you have no choice but to just keep moving forward. One thing I do love about the chariot, though, is this card is saying you'd always need to know where you're going, but the chariot's going to take you to the right place. So do know that as you've gone through these moon-type things where you've rolled with these curveballs, you're still heading in the right direction. The chariot can also indicate new vehicles, so some of you could have gotten a new vehicle so far this year as well. Congratulations for those of you that have. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience, hard work, delayed success, waiting. Um, if you look at this card, this person planted their pentacles and they're basically just sitting there kind of staring at them, waiting for them to grow at this point. Um, 
I think that it did take some time to heal from whatever this Three of Swords energy was, that loss of somebody, that separation, that ending. Um, it could have also taken a while for it to end. Um, unfortunately, that family member, if they passed away, could have been sick for a while. Or again, grieving could have taken a while. You could still be grieving these. Um, there's no right amount of time uh, that it takes to heal from any situation. At the bottom, though, we have the Nine of Cups. Really strong ending point here for us. The Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. It's material abundance, good health. Um, love to see the good health because, again, with that Three of Swords, some of you could have been ill or had surgery. Um, this is saying whatever you want, and likely you were hoping for this baby. You were hoping for this relationship. You were hoping for this engagement, this marriage. Um, and you're being able to create whatever you want as it relates to love. Um, so setting yourself up in a really good position here now going into the next six months, Aries. Now let's take a look at our next column, which again is just kind of a general look at what we have going into the end of the year, next six months or so. The next card that we have is influence. And influence is an important reminder of two things. This is about focusing on the things that we have influence over. Again, focusing on what's in our circle of control. But it's also a reminder of just how much you do have influence over. Um, I think people forget sometimes how much they can influence. So influence is going to be important for you going into these next six months series. Let's see what messages we have here, though. All right, the first card we have is the full card. I love seeing the full card right off the bat because we are going to the next, we're going into the second half of the year and we do absolutely have new opportunities. So with the full card, this is the first card of the major, our major arcana. It is the number zero card. It is truly that fresh hope, taking chances, going on a new path, going on a new adventure, going on um, it's that new beginning. Um, so this is really going to be a fresh start for you going into the second half of the year. Love to see the full card, especially when we're doing these year-long or quarter-long or six-month-long readings. The next card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a very patient card. It is a new job, raise, or money news. So I would absolutely expect that Aries going into these next six months, there will be a new job for you, some sort of raise, some sort of money news happening for you. And again, the Page of Pentacles being very patient. So you've already given six months this year of hard work, dedication, and patience. Now you get to see the benefits of that. And then at the bottom, we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups has a couple really, really wonderful meetings. Um, one of them is being friendship. So your friendships are going to strengthen and really blossom going into the end of the year, Aries. Um, this is also a card of celebration. So expect that you find yourself celebrating over and over and over again going through the end of the year, which I love that. And this is also a circle of support. So going back to that friendship, not only are you going to have great friendships, but they're going to be a supportive kind of friendship. Let's clarify this column. The first card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. For those of you that have watched my readings before, you know that I love the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it's one of my favorite cards in the entire deck. It's a card of good fortune, a card of good luck, and it's a turning point. So here we are looking at the second half of the year, right on the turning point, right on the cusp, and we're at that place with the Fool card. We're having those new chances, new opportunities, new paths, new adventures, new beginnings. Really nice pairing of cards there. The next card that we have is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork. Again, really having that circle of support coming through for you. This is a card of commerce. So you have two money cards pair, paired together here with the Page of Pentacles and commerce. This is also a card of expansion and travel. So you can expect your money to grow, your opportunities to grow, and definitely some travel going into the second half of the year for you as well. Then at the bottom here, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a card of reflecting, which makes sense. You know, we're going into the second half of the year. We have six months to look back on and see how things have gone to this point. Um, this is also a card, though, of gifts and reunions. So I do think some of these friendships that are blossoming could be reconnecting with some friends that maybe you had gotten disconnected from. 
Um, and there just will be lots of gifts. Again, this is a very caring relationship. This will be a random $10 Venmo treating yourself to Starbucks or flowers or those little things that make you know that you are supported and that you're cared for. Now in the next column, we're going to take a look at anything related to money. Um, so think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments that you have. Again, anything that you associate with money, Aries. The first card that we have is Temperance. Temperance is a card of balance, harmony. Um, it is a card of moderation too, which I love. I think some of you have either been very busy or not busy at all. So you're going to see this kind of nice balance coming, nice harmony coming. Um, some of you might not have been loving the work that you've been doing so far to this year. Um, that'll be a good shift for you as well. The next card that we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very bold card. It's very powerful. It is a card of leadership. Um, so I do see a lot of you moving into a leadership role or a role where you have more power, uh, more authority, more say, your voice is being heard. Um, so that's really, really great to see also. Then at the bottom, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is indicating some sort of shift, and we kind of already talked about that with Temperance, where there will be more balance, more harmony, more moderation. Um, the Knight of Swords, though, if you look at this card, both the horse and rider are moving very quickly, so you can anticipate that these changes are going to happen pretty quickly for you. Clarifying this column here, first card we have is the Eight of Wands. This is a card of speed, action, quick change. We were just talking about how quickly these shifts are going to happen for you, but I love that. So if you're in this place where you don't feel harmony, you don't feel balanced, there's no moderation, it's coming for you really quickly. Um, this is also like news coming in. So this could be news of a new job opportunity, new promotion, um, some sort of new way to make money. So do keep your ears open as well because it's very much so news coming in. Um, that could also mean like social media. So keep your eyes open what's available to you on social media. The next card that we have is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is a card of having to defend yourself, protect yourself against competition. If you look at this card, there's one person standing on top of the hill with the one wand, that being you, and then there are six other wands trying to hit them. Um, again, for whatever reason, I don't feel like your voice is being heard right now, but with the King of Wands, this is going to put you into that position more so of power, into that position of leadership. Um, the King of Wands is also a very charming person, so as people disagree with you or um, feel the need to compete with you, you'll kind of be able to woo them and charm them. Then at the bottom here, we have the Fool card. You have two Fool cards. Again, I love this so much, especially when we're doing these big, long readings. It means there's going to be tons and tons of new opportunities, adventures, beginnings for you. Um, and they're going to come really quickly. Um, looking at the next six months, I would say within maybe 30 days or 60 days for you with that Knight of Swords, very, very fast moving. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationships, children. Again, whatever you think of when you think of love. The first card that we have is the Hermit. The Hermit is a card about going within for clarity. It's being on your quest for personal truth. It's that spiritual illumination. If you take a look here, there's a light, and that light inside the lantern is a light inside you, Aries. So whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, whether we're talking about friendships here, make sure that whatever it is feels good. I feel like you know what you want, but you maybe not have always actioned on what you wanted as it comes to love. So do keep that in mind as you move forward. The next card we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card where we're non-committal. Um, you're hesitant to commit. So if you look at this card, there are seven cups. There's something different in every different cup. Um, you have lots of different options as it relates to friends and loves and love interests. And I just feel like you're not ready um, to really commit. So do be aware of that. Um, part of that, again, though, is going to be tying back to the Hermit card where you need to be very clear on what you want. Once you know what you want, you'll know if the situation or the person is making you happy and serving you in your best interest. Um, so again, be clear on what you want there. 
The next card that we have is the Nine of Cups. You had the Nine of Cups earlier also. The Nine of Cups is such a good card no matter where you have it in the reading. This is wishes coming true. It's material abundance. It's good health. Um, so whatever you want on the love front you can have. If you're hoping to grow your family, this is a great card for you. If you would like to get married, this is a great card for you. If you are single looking for a relationship, this is a great card for you. Again, the message here being know what you want because you're going to feel non-committal if it's not exactly what you want, Aries. Clarifying this here, we did have all sword clarifying cards that's worth pointing out. Swords are air signs and this is very intellectual type energy. But the first clarifying card we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords to some people looks a little gloomy. It's a card I really like. If you look at it though, they are faced away from us, their heads are hanging low, and there's all these swords stuck into the boat. But if you look at the boat, the boat is moving in a forward direction. And the same is happening for your love life. You're moving in a forward direction, Aries, by understanding what you want. Um, by really going within for that clarity, being on your path, having that spiritual illumination. It's all part of this transition, part of this thing that you need in order to be in a happy relationship. Again, I don't know that, you, I think you've always known what you've wanted, but you necessarily haven't pursued what you wanted, so this is the opportunity for you. The Six of Swords is also a card of moving or relocating. Some of you could be moving or relocating, and that's going to, um, bring up some new love interest for you as well like you could be moving to a new city or some of you could be moving in with your love interest which is really exciting as well the next card that we have is the three of swords the three of swords we had earlier um this is a kind of not good relationship still coming up i think this is lingering from that first six months that's that heartbreak that divorce that loss that depression we've done a lot of healing um, and what this is saying here is there is some hurt here and that could potentially be what's leading you to be non-committal or not ready to make a commitment as well. So do keep in mind when we th see the Three of Swords, I think you've done a ton of healing to this point, but you may need to do more before you're ready to just jump in, Aries. So keep that in mind. Be thinking about the Hermit. The next card we have is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is a card of rest, retreat, renewal, recovery, and it is a card of solitudity. Um, whether you're single or in a relationship, do make sure that you're taking time for you. Um, always make sure that you're taking time for you. So that seems to be the message that's coming through here. Again, single or in a relationship, you time is going to be very important to your happiness, it seems like, Aries. Now we're going to move into our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guide. Um, this is something to take into the next six months of the year with you. We have the card formation. Absolutely, you are forming something new. And this is you and your surroundings that are forming, Aries. But let's see what messages I have here for you. The first card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is very reliable, very patient, and very hard working. So we just said you're working on forming yourself, you're working on forming your environment. You need to continue to be patient and persistent as we think about that. So continue to keep pushing forward on things this next six months, Aries. The next card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of leaving a legacy. Um, this is like long term. This is forming your future. So again, not surprised to see this with formation. Now we have a card that's saying you're leaving a legacy. This is confirmation that you're doing the, same, the right thing. So continue to keep pushing forward here. With the Ten of Pentacles, this can also be inheritance or some lump sum of money. It can be retirement. So for those of you retiring in the next six months, congratulations. Then at the bottom here, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawing, retreating, and moving on. If you look at this card, the Eight of Cups, the Eight Cups are stacked very nicely, but yet the person in the background is still moving on. They're still moving forward. Um, and this is moving forward on something better. What you have is already good, but you're on the pursuit of something better here, Aries. First clarifying card we have is the Knight of Pentacles. For those of you who've watched my videos before, you know I love when this happens. So we have the Knight of Pentacles on top of the Knight of Pentacles. 
This is the world saying, I said what I meant. So absolutely continue to be patient, continue to be persistent, continue to work hard. The next card we have is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is that very bold, powerful card. And you do have so much power, so much control, so much influence that we were talking about, Aries. Make sure that you're embracing that um, and using that in your favor. You're forming, you're leaving this legacy. Then at the bottom here, we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident and very self-assured. And this is you, but it needs to continue to be you, Aries. So as you navigate through the state of cups, moving on to something better, continuing to form, continuing to push forward, stay confident and stay self-assured. Now at this point in time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions using the Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But for question number one, we have the Seven of Clubs. This is number 20 card. That's a yes. Question number two is the Six of Spades. This is the number 29 card. That's going to be a no. Question number three is the Ten of Spades. This is the number 30 card. That's going to be a no. So yes, no, no for you, Aries. I debated whether I was going to do this or not, but I did. So we do have a healing stone, a crystal to keep with you for the next six months. Your crystal is black turlamine, which is good for protection and relaxation. Um, really relaxes body, mind, and spirit. I don't typically do these cards in my reading, but since this is a six month reading, I do want to pull a card from this let go deck because we need to let go of the next six months and be ready to go the next six months. Your let go card says, your mind is a recorder. Let go of all the negative, unkind replays and replace them with elevated sounds. We are also gonna pull a card from our Angel Wishes desk deck. So this is a message from you from a loved one who has passed away. Your angel message says, listen to your inner voice. Your knowledge is within you. And last but not least, we always end with a healing note. So we're going to pull you a quick healing note here. Your healing note says, people do not always need advice. Sometimes all they really need is a hand to hold, an ear to listen, and a heart to understand them. Thank you so much, Aries, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, when you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you, Aries, and I hope you have the best next six months.